Hello and welcome to Tax TV. Ryan the Bearded Tyke. Yeah, Pleasure as always, mate. Um, well, we managed to get into the playoffs, mate. Uh, results went his way. We drew, but we're looking forward to like now. I still know uh, development of manager situation. Although, you know, there's been real strong rumours going about, but it's Richie Wellens. Again, no concrete and confirmed. But that side, big game coming up, one of two uh, against yeah. Bolton, Ryan. Uh, and again, it's more or less a replay of last season's playoff semi final, mate. Uh, we're at home yeah. first. Tough call, Debaney. Um, I can see this one going, mate. Oh, um, right. I mean, listen, we've got to put all the negativity of the, of the last quarter of the season behind us for this game now. You know, first and foremost, we need to get behind lads and make it, make it a, a, you know, a cauldron at, at, at Oakwell. Getting frustrated and and booing and stuff like that is not going to help lads at all. It's last home game of the season. We've got, we, you know, like I said in the last video, the last quarter of the season has been shocking, mate. Haven't we? We've been we've been mm -hmm. poor for ninety five percent of it. Um, but we've got to put that behind us. Put it behind us now. And we've now got an opportunity to 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 get promoted. So let's get out there and give it. You know, give it. Give the lads the best shot in the arm that we can give them uh, by getting behind them. You know, regardless of what's going on, and then let's. You know, it's going to be a tough game, mate. They're going to be a tough game, over hundred and eighty minutes. If I'm, if I'm going to, going to be perfectly honest, over hundred and eighty minutes, I don't think we're going to beat them, I, I, and I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Um, just on just how we've been playing at, 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 of late, but I think playoffs are a lottery, mate. And if you think back to two thousand and six. When we got when we when we beat Swansea in playoffs, when we beat I think we Huddersfield, yeah. won it. Yeah. yeah, beat Huddersfield. We we got into playoffs on the last game of the season by beating Walsall away, and we'd won two out of twelve games, mm -hmm. which we've just done two out of twelve games. So we weren't on the best of form. We didn't lose as many as we did. There, there were a lot of draws in in that, but we'd won two out of twelve going into that. Then we actually needed to scrape in on the last game of the season, um, and we did. And we actually lost the home leg one nil, and then went and beat Huddersfield three one away. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know, there's there's a little so there's similarities in there. So it has happened before with Barnsley. So it, there's there's no reason why it can't happen again. And and as far as playing Bolton, we you know we've played them seven times at last two seasons. They've only beaten us once. So they're not they're a great side, Bolton. You know, and they're certainly from a certainly from a, a squad depth perspective. They've got a lot more, you know, got a lot more in depth than us, and that's why I think over the 180 minutes it might be a bit of a tough, tough task for us. But having said that, over the last two seasons we've not, not you know, we've not been overawed by them at all. We've had two draws this season, both were great games. Mm. I think we played Barnes they played really well in both games. The vast majority of the second one, anyway, up to about 78, 70 minutes, and then and then Bolton pressed has really managed to get the uh, the draw. So I don't think there's any reason for players to fear him at all. Um, I just think on re it's just the recent form that's bo that, that's bothering me and probably bo bothering the vast majority of Barnsley fans. But I think if they can get into an headspace where they can put all that behind them now and put all their efforts into the... You know, we've played these before. We've competed with them before. No dramas. In fact, over numerous games over the last two seasons, a lot of the, a lot of the squad from both teams will have played each other those seven times over the last, over the last couple of seasons. So... Um, there's no reason why we should fear them. I, I, the only thing that's bothering me is, like, like I said, is the, is, is the recent form. But again, there's a, that old saying about we, we uh, playoffs is the form that goes out at window, doesn't it? So yeah, it's open all the ball, and it's it can literally be a lottery. So I'm I'm really looking forward to it now. I were a bit I were a bit deflated on Saturday if I'm if I'm honest when I come out at ground after the game. You know, we managed to get playoffs, which we were pleased with, but I was a bit deflated with performance considering what the sort of promises we got before the game that we're gonna have the shackles off, be a bit more attacking, and it wouldn't it it, it, it were none of none of those things. Mm. Um but I'm just hoping that this 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 opportunity, mate, gives them gives them, you know, a rocket up ass and they go out there and perform like they can. And if we look back throughout the season when we've had his really good performances. I know they've been sort of few and far between, but they've been against good footballing teams, aren't they? Good football inside that play decent, that play decent yeah, yeah, brand yeah. football. So again, I'm hoping that that's what it. Is. I'm hoping that that's what it, that that's how it's going to pan out. Um, 
if we could come away from Oakwell without getting beat, as much as I'd want us to win, mate, if we can come out of Oakwell without getting beat on on, on Saturday, uh, sorry, on Friday, then I think we, we can put us in a good position to go to to go to Bolton on Tuesday yeah. night. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm just like I'm looking at this game, and like I think you've touched on it, Via, um, is that the Bolton the Bolton game. It'll be a lot more tougher, I think, because it's coming up like you've just said, going back up at past few years. <clears throat> Excuse me, past few years. Well, it's been a good football and attacking side. And again, it's kind of blended in where, you know, one half it's one team, one, one half it's another. So you kind of ever get, get a mixed bag of stuff, what's been going off. Um, we've been to Bolton, Bolton been to Barnes, and like I said, we've ever been. It's not it's not been boring by any stretch of the imagination. It's been one of them no. why they didn't what can I say? Expect the, 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 play, the players will match up against expectation against other other kind of uh, players. Yeah. Ian Everett'll definitely know about Barnsley. Uh of his past meetings. I'm looking at I'm looking at the home game. We need to get a result at home. I think if we if we lose like you say, his current home form not been great. If we go, I, I think if we go then to Bolton, it, it's adding more pressure on on us to what can I say? I, implement our style of play on Bolton because we know that Bolton will pat bear and dart will make it is hostile and yeah. intimidating as we can do. Would we have that kind of character, not just as a manager, but in the play of the sense to like take this on and go, yeah, do you know what? I question that, especially like at, at time where yeah. we haven't really got a gaff of it, if you know what I mean. So again, I think the season has gone as such. Now we concentrate on two like like cup legs for me. It's like yeah. and that goes out at window the form. But again, you still want to be mentally mentally ready and prepared for this. Yeah. Has Devaney had enough time to implement that in? I don't I don't know Ryan on that, mate. No, no. Well, it's, it's going to be difficult for a minute. It's going to be difficult for for for, for Devaney to 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 make any massive changes in in the few what you know, give me eleven, twelve days since since Collins was sat before before the match starts. So um, it's 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 going to be really tough, mate. I mean, ca can we do it? Yeah, of course we can. Uh, but Bolton have got to be clear favourites. You, you you've you've got to think. Um, but hopefully, something like that will will. We'll give them the boost, mate. We'll give them the boost to to go out there and show them because there's so many people think that Bolton are going through, isn't there? And I think I think the vast majority of Bolton fans think they're going through, which they should, they should do probably. You know what I mean? But they think I think a lot of them think they're going to piss it. And and and, and I, I, it's up to us to prove it's up to them to prove it wrong now, isn't it? The Bolton players to sorry the Barnsley players to prove the Bolton fans wrong. Um, I mean, it's going to be a tough ask. It's going to be really, really close, I think. But I, I really, really want us. To, obviously, I really, really want us to win, mate. I'm just, I just, I think, I just think Bolton might be a bit too strong for us over 180 minutes. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be proved wrong. Um, but we can't come out, Neil, and play the brand of football we've been playing. We can't. We no. just can't do that against Bolton. You know, we can't come out and, you know, like Devaney saying shackles are going to be off and everything else like we had against Northampton. And then it would just that slow, drab, boring football, mate. But Bolton will absolutely tear us to bits if we play like that. Um, and that's, I think, that's my concern. That's my concern, my main concern. Um, but what the, the, the positive part is that when 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 we've played them over the last two seasons, and when we've played them this season, they haven't beat us, Bolton. We and we haven't beat them either. But both games have been really competitive, good games of football to watch, and that's what's given me that just that little bit of flicker of hope that we can. That we can match him again, and 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 you know, over two legs, and, and and see how things go. What's your take? Because I've been there's been a lot made about this, and I kind of agree. Um, and some say it's EFL ruling about. What's your take on the ticket allocation? Is it's it mind good. games? Is it like for like for me? We we, we mentioned it, didn't we? At weekend, yeah. just sell it out, and we'll get the same at, uh, <coughs> at Bolton. It's make it a better atmosphere. But for some reason, they're trying to. What can I say? There's been rumours going about saying, "Oh, it's mind games, it's petty, and this over." Yeah. For me, just just sell it out. I'll tell you because I read it on the website this morning on the EFL website, mate. So two seconds, let's bring it up. So I took a screenshot of it. I'll just read you what it says. 
So this is on EFL website. So this is regarding uh, playoff semi-finals. So point three, point three: the visiting club shall have the rights to claim 2,000 tickets for use by its supporters or such number as represents 10% of all tickets reserved or otherwise sold in advance. If if less than 2,000, then the, the, the following conditions shall apply, which is 10% of the stadium. So if it holds... If it's going to be less than ten percent, then they have two thousand. It has to be to at least ten percent of the of the capacity. And I think that's if there's like a you know a smaller stadium um, where the two thousand would obviously be more than the ten percent. So that's what I've read off the EFL website mate, regarding EFL semi-final tickets. So it looks like it's an EFL thing, which is just I just don't understand. I don't understand it at all. It doesn't make any sense that you can sell as many away tickets as you want during the season. But when it comes to something like a showpiece match, like a like a semi final, it's it, it's down to um, it, it's just some sort of silly rule where you can only sell a certain percentage of tickets. I don't I don't get it. Um, it's, it's so weird. It's so weird, and then it's again, weird one, mate, because it, it creates such a great atmosphere at Oakwell with, with with it being full. And I think a lot of you know a lot of Bolton fans online are sat there saying, "Why are Barnsley doing this?" And it's it's, it's not Barnsley. So and that, and that's, that's and, and besides which, besides which, mate, Bolton want to use that, but they want to sell that bottom half of the, of the what's known the other way, and they want to sell that bottom half to their own fans. So we'd only get two thousand dollars anyway with that top half if they if if regardless of what what we gave them, they'd only give us that two thousand anyway. So um, yeah, then I'm, I'm just going to bre- I'm just going to break you off there, Ryan. Just going to break you off there, mate. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back to that, but breaking news. Uh, Richie Wellens has signed an extension contract at Leighton Orient. Uh, been strongly linked with Barnsley. Apparently, been having talks with Barnsley, oh. uh, and it's just been coming up now. I've just had to break off, mate. Um, Rumours are going about there might have been some kind of compensation package and everything like that. Uh, but it's on X, it's on Twitter, X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And it says Leighton Orient are delighted to announce Ed Coach Richie Wellens signed a new three-year contract at the club. I wouldn't have signed if I wasn't excited about the future and I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully taking the club to the next level. So, breaking news, uh, Richie Wellens signed a contract extension at Leighton Orient and he was strongly, strongly linked with a Barnsley, a Barnsley move, uh, mate. Uh, apparently talks and uh, interest had been going via. Bookies were like more or less narrowing odds every day, every hour. Um, so, yeah, just just... I'm just breaking back, mate. As it happened, uh, I'm getting messages come through all left, right, centre. I'm just literally going on Twitter like right now. Um, so yeah, Le- uh, Richie Wellens will not be coming to Barnsley Football Club. Um, so again, we'll, that's you know, that's right. something else. What's just like a kind of a kind of kick about a bit of the deflation. We're hoping to get a gaffer in. There's been Talama with work permit issues, and that seems to have gone off at radar. With Richie Wellens, looked like he was in the running. Uh, another person what's been mentioned is Mike Williamson but just breaking off from Bolton game for a, a bit which I'm sorry people watching this you know we're bringing it as it, as it does happen um, it's like only Barnes Football Club can seem to do something like this Ryan yeah I mean we don't know what's gone behind the scenes do we we, no. don't, know what's, we don't know what's gone on um, you know if Barnes have offered him this and then you don't know if later on it'll come back with a counter offer Um I, I don't know what's happened, mate. I, I, I don't know what's happened. It's, it's, I think this whole thing since since um, since sacking Neil Collins has been a bit of a farce, mate. Mm. I've been honest. It's been a bit of a farce. Um, you know, I think the fact that they'd got rid of him and got a replacement already lined up in in in, in Dominic Thalama. Um, not done all work. Not, not done all work on him. So now we are, now, now we are a gaffer at all. So. Um, Messy, messy, mate. It's a bit messy, mate. It's a bit messy. I mean, it's, it's difficult. You, you, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And, no, and end that's day, true. End, end, end it day. Richie it's not Wellens like playing is, football manager, is it? You know what I mean? It's, no, Richie Wellens is is Leighton Orient's manager, and he's under contract with Leighton Orient. It's not like he's he's out of work and he's chose Leighton Orient over Barnsley. He's he's you know he's he's a Leighton Orient manager. Um, it's refreshing to see so, all that, Ryan. But. A manager actually extends a contract of the, the club themselves and yes. shall extend it and show faith yeah. in that. And I think this is what we at Barnsley Football Club are missing. I'm not just having a dig at the you know 10 gaff 10 management past six years, is it? It's like if we get you know clubs sniffing around after our gaffer, 
know what, this is this project, this is that. It sustains the stability, progression. You look at like McKenna at Ipswich, fantastic job. I hope they go up Ipswich. I think That's we all need a point now. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic work he's done there. And I'm looking at other clubs as well. Uh, dare I say the blue, blue and white half for uh, South Yorkshire in um, our bare fate to stop up. You know, you're looking at that fate team spirit and the, the manager that's coming and made a difference. This is what we need to do. And we don't seem to do this at Boundary. We seem to be, a, 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 we seem to get a coaching or a manager in for one season and it goes, yeah, it goes all right. And then he gets poached off and we're like, yeah, we'll have him to go because we've got a contract clause. He doesn't do right, so we get shot. Rather than keep back. And I, I get all this with people like calling out for Neil Warnock. Warnock could probably be here for a season and then go. So we're another guy for him. Uh, you get someone in who's like, you know, such as like Mike Williamson or Richie Wellens, which were, for me, the way to go kind of thing. But yeah. in the same effect, you still need to back the gaffer to build on foundations here. There's no point otherwise, is there, mate? Yeah. Well, Mike Williamson, we're not going to get him for playoffs, are we? Because MK Dunn's in playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. He's not, he, you know, I don't think he's, he's not going to do that, is he? So no. uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. But that's uh, That's... That's taking wind out of my sail a bit, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. I'll get, wind it, out of I'll get a message in. It literally came up. I've just typed in and it came up that it's signed for you. And I thought, well, probably a lot of Barnsley fans were hoping because, you know, it will, you know, odds were shortening and there were a lot of strong rumours going about saying that everything were more or less agreed. Apart yeah. from, like you said, Beers late and audience managers still. Who knows what's going to be behind the scenes is probably you know, gone back down, this is, you know, we've done this, that, other, and we've offered him a better package and extended his stay. Fair play to the lad. Is uh, a, a, a manager that I, I would have liked to have the football club. I think he's done well. He's Absolutely. worked up. He got late on it, promoted, got off to a shaky start, but he come good. Um, and again, unfortunately for Barnsley, but, you know, well done late on in to backing your man. Um, yeah. Some of what I think Barnsley need to do a lot more of, um, not only backing him is in faith and ability, but also in the transfer market to give him a fighting chance to compete at, uh, in, at league level, mate. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was the breaking news anyway from Richie Wellen. So, we'll get back to the Bolton game um, regarding the ticket allocation and that. And I get with like EFL ruling and stuff and that, but I can't understand it for me, mate, because you, you're looking like a football league thing, like normal. If it had been normal, if it'd have sold it out, it wouldn't be like a derby or I don't like yeah. that. Easy. So, I, I, you know, although it's a semi final, it's like it's still a football game, no matter what it is. I just don't. But if you'd gone to FA Cup and you'd gone to a bigger side, if it'd have given you whoosh, all that, and I'm like, really? It's like, I think Bounds Football Club would be happy with it, you know, because what, what what would it be? An extra, for sell that out, probably an extra 80 yeah, grand. Thousand, yeah, well, another, right. another, another. Three, so if it's towards it two one and a half, so it'll be like another three eight, should we say? Three thousand eight hundred. There's, there's, there's a lot there. It's, it's up there, isn't it, mate? Yeah. And you know, and I think Bolton had been the same, there'd have been more money. Again, I think sometimes a bit of common sense needs to come into it and leave it for me, leave it to clubs, because it's a, a game such an importance like that. It's yeah. made it a lot more better atmosphere, mate. But yeah, hey -ho, that's don't make, sense, mate. don't make any sense. I don't think it makes any sense to anybody, mate. So no, I'd no like to. Have seen it. I'd no. like to have seen it fall. Yeah, you know, if it's if it, you know, it's all these rumors about playing mind games. You don't want to give them an advantage. So why would we? Why would we have an away? And hey, why would we have an away in that big? And yeah. why would we sell it out during the season if it, if if we thought that it were going to give away a team an advantage? But certainly against like big games when we play when we play Wednesday at home, you know, derby at home and stuff like that. If we thought that it were going to give the away the away team um, an advantage, why would we sell it out? Yeah, yeah. You might as well give them the tickets to the semi final. Uh, yeah, know. there's there's so many different rumours and different theories uh, going around online. But I've read it on the EFL website that that's what that's what it is. So. But a lot of Barnsley fans, didn't, and to be fair, a lot of Barnsley fans are saying sell it out. Sell yeah, it. I think, it's I think the vast majority of Barnsley fans would want yeah. to see that sold out. Yeah, not to do with fans at all. No, no. Fan, fans are, like I've seen on socials, fans are like saying, silly tarts going to create a better atmosphere. All being well, both of them don't say, they'll give X amount, so we're not fighting over loyalty points, so we're going to be first come, first served, and miss out opportunity. And it says a lot, because I know it's going to be shown on Sky, but people are actually, but you can't beat a live event. 
Anyway, that's a bit of rant over with ticket allocation. Um, so, it's looking like it's going to be De Devaney. I think it would have been Devaney regardless if we'd have got someone in it last week. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, they're, not really, they're not going to change him for... Um, they're not going to change anything in two days, are they? They're not going to start no. messing with formation and stuff like that, trying to get him to get new things. He's just because it's just going to happen. He's probably going to cause more damage than good. It's um, going to be same old, same old, then, isn't it? Because it were against Northampton. I can't see him doing changing out against a uh, game of importance against Bolton, mate, can you? No. Be very surprised if he does. Very surprised. Yeah. Well, I guess we're, I guess we're going to find out, aren't you? Now, uh, you know, I think that mm. oh, that's just wounded me that mate a bit. If I'm being honest. Um, Sorry, Do you want a minute? No, no, I'm all right. right. I'm all right. I'm just like I say, I'm just I'm just, just not a bit. Um, out. Yeah, I felt a bit thin when I saw it. I think that I hope that doesn't do the same to players. If they, if they, if it uh, surely we've been at the club, they might have had rumours that somebody yeah. was going to come, somebody else was going to come in. And if it's not happened, then it's. Mm. I hope that's been Yeah. Well, we were just doing a Brolton preview and back Brock, and I thought this it's got to be mentioned, like, because people will be watching it. So yeah, it's, it's like, good. that's one of them, he's, isn't it? He's, he's, he's good to me, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like I said, he's employed by Leighton Orient, and if yeah. they've, yeah. they've, it's not like, he, you know, if they've offered him a better contract or whatever it, whatever it might be, um, you know, certainly if he's decided, you know, if, if whatever we're going on in background and then they've thrown a counter offer in, then it might be. That, that that was the case, but yeah. anyway, there you go. It is what it is, yeah. isn't it? But let's yeah, Devaney's gonna. I think you know Devaney's gonna be in charge. Hopefully, he's had a bit more time to get um, the, the the lads back on side. Um, potentially, you know, playing a more attacking style of football like we have done when we played Bolton um, over the last couple of seasons. Certainly this season, um, mm. and you know, we're back to where we, we, I mean. Like you said, even if a new guy could come in, mate, I don't think he's going to do too much different before Friday. So I think we'd be, you know, we're probably going to see a 3 5 2, and we're probably going to see a very similar start in 11 hour. Mm -hmm. Score prediction 2 2. I'm going to go for a draw 1 1. Um, obviously, we've got, I think we just we can see goals and if there's goals in his view. Um, I just don't want a loss. I think if it is a loss, I think it's, it's going to make it an uphill struggle for us. I really do. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can, you know, 2 0, 2 1. I'll take that all day long. But Absolutely. realistically, yeah. I think how we're playing at minute, I've conceded in such late terms against Northampton. Northampton didn't really threaten us one bit, to be fair. Not one bit, but, but no. from a it, it, direct it, it, ball, it, it, not done, they finished. Yeah. Free header in box again, wasn't it? Going to sleep in defence. But it weren't really that particular goal that caused the problem, were it? No. The fact that we missed, we missed them clear chances early on in the game to finish him off and it wouldn't have mattered, would it? So, yeah. Um, yeah. So we can put that to bed on uh, on Friday, mate. But, but surely the lads are going to be pumped, mate, to get to play this game. You think so? If you can't I mean, get... I mean, a lot of, you know, to, uh, with so much riding on that game, sometimes that can have a really negative impact on how you play just because you're so nervous uh, knowing what's riding on it. But they've got the opportunity now, so hopefully that's you know that hopefully that switches a different mindset to think, you know, not about the what ifs. It's, you know what I mean. You just leave everything out there on the field, don't you? Because there's no what ifs. You can't. It's not league's done now. This is just it's basically shit or bust, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, for me, we we've done, it's been a long hard slog of a season. So many reasons, so many you know things not going over old ground, but you know with a certain issue that's gone off through uh, season. For me now, you did the, you know, the the final business end. It's the last home game at season, um, and if the players aren't up for a semi final, potentially to get to Wembley and you know, promotion, then we sum it up. But I would like to think that this this week they've literally just been on the training pitch, going through tactics, set pieces, attacking formations, defensive set pieces, whatever they've been doing. I just hope come Friday night, oh, I think on Friday, Saturday, Friday night, that we actually see things we've been working on. What's so, yeah? Do you know what? If it made a difference for you, done that. I don't want to be turning up Friday night and thinking what they've been working on. I can't see what they've tried to do. Switch play. I saw a glimpse in it with Kane in midfield. We were trying to move forward, uh, pass the ball forward a lot more. But then yeah. the second half when Tom, we seem to be sitting a bit deeper back. We seem to be playing a bit more defensive. If the old frailties were coming back in again, where it was back with Vienna, and then it was a direct ball, free header, free header, cut, and it was like sucker punch. 
Yeah. Don't want back to happen against Bolton. Yeah, they were poor defending all round, mate. Poor, like I say, poor, yeah. poor positioning from Roberts. Poor defending, you know, two a free a free header, and then then free to get that side foot volley off on on, on his own at middle. Yeah. I think they just switched. I think they just switched off, mate. I think they just switched off, and that's a bit of a worry because we've conceded some Can't late goals, in, yeah. haven't we? But yeah. like I say, listen, it's a semi final, mate. It's a semi final under the lights at Oakwell. Let's get behind, lads. It's the it, 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 it's it's the playoffs. Anything can happen. Anything yeah, get it now. buzzing, get it rocking. Yeah, let's get it buzzing, let's get it rocking. Let's take this opportunity and grasp it. I hope they grasp it with both hands and go at them because we know that when we play well, we can. We're a really, really good side. We've got some really good individual players. Can we? You know, can we get as Can they get their edge into the right space and play that and play that play that game, mate? And 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 then then anything can happen. Yeah. I think if it's anything like if we play anything like we have of late, mate, I think Bolton will go through us, but. Yeah, that's it. Let, 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 let's his... let's hope for the former. <laughs> yeah, up his game, up his intensity. I would take uh, the last season's playoff uh, semi final at Oakwell when Kitchen scored. I take that all day long now. Um, yeah. That's what we want to see on Friday night. That intensity, that belief, that togetherness. Let's get behind the lads. Let's get Oakwell rocking. I want the lads on the pitch then to get us going and non-stop for the ninety minutes uh, while we're at Oakwell. Ryan will be the tackle as always. Been a pleasure, mate. Uh, yes, well. Preview of Bolton game and obviously the Wellens breaking news. Um, going to game on uh, on Friday night. Got to keep thinking it's like Saturday, chopping and changing about with days like now. Um, have a safe journey, Bolton fans watching. Have a safe journey as well. Uh, like I said, it's an EFL ruling which a lot of Bolton fans are not happy about. But. One thing I can think we can agree on is that it's going to be a decent game. We always seems to be Bolton against Barnsley. Um, long may continue with that as well. Uh, yeah. Got some good uh, friends over in Bolton as well. So one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>